Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video and this is my updated Icarus e Exotic Extraction Guide. Anyone pre two patches ago would have been used to mining your exotics, putting them in your dropship and then going back to the planet. That is no longer the case. So in this video I'm going to show you the best way to mine exotics now, extract them and get out quicker as well. So it saves you time running back to your drop pod and all of that good stuff. So the first new important item that you're going to need, which was introduced in the week 54 patch, is the Senatai Dropship Recall Beacon. Now, this will call the dro your dropship to your location. So you just throw this grenade on the ground, it will bleep, and then your dropship, wherever it is on the map, will take off, and it will come back down. If you've put any broken tools or anything inside the dropship, don't worry, they will remain inside of it. They don't get deleted or anything like that. The dropship will come and land next to you where you drop the grenade. So make sure you stand away and just wait for it to arrive. It might take a minute or so, depending on how far it is. So this will save you running back to your dropship. So if save your your final mission location, for example, or your final exotic extraction location, which is far away from your dropship. Now you can call it to you and you can just get in it and leave. You are going to have to spend 250 exotics to research this, but after that, it's only going to cost you 25 ren to craft one of these. Now, if you've gotten some exotics already, I'd highly recommend getting the IC1 extractor. It is going to cost you 300 exotics up front and one, one payment of 500 exotics after that. So this is basically a tier 4 extractor, which you're going to use to drop down with and you can go and extract exotics straight away. To fuel this so you are going to need the prototype power source so a rule of thumb is one power source can generally mine 225 exotics so depending on if you're doing an exotic run say on agricultural stockpile nine times out of ten you only need one fuel source but if you're doing say spirit walk it's a good rule of thumb to take at least four or five with you if you are playing solo but that's fine if you don't have exotics and you've only got ren that's absolutely fine you can go ahead and get yourself the MXC fuel canister. This process is a little bit slower, but this will get you on the path to getting your IC1 extractor. So what you need to do is grab this fuel canister and it comes preloaded with a lot of biofuel. Okay, and you can return this to the station. Unlike this fuel source, once you drop down with the prototype power source, you've lost it. You cannot bring it back to the station. So with the MXC fuel canister, the only problem is it is slower. Uh, to get in the exotics this way because you've got to craft more so you will have to craft the biofuel extractor from the crafting bench down on the planet so yeah you can see the biofuel radar and the biofuel extractor now these are locked behind a mission you will have to do the mission payday to unlock these to be able to get access to exotics so these are in tier 3 so what you would do with the MXC fuel canister, you'll place it inside the biofuel extractor once you've placed it down on top of an exotic node. The biofuel extractor doesn't have any bonuses on it, but it is worth using to get you on the road to getting your first exotics and saving up for the IC1 extractor. But you can drop down with multiple MXC canisters as well. You just have to buy them off the workshop and you're good to go. So this is the mission payday extraction. This is what will unlock your radar and your biofuel extractor. And it's easily indicated here as it's got a purple square around it with the little exotic icon. And it tells you here when you hover over it what it does. There's also a second mission called deep vein extraction. So this is so you can find exotic nodes inside of caves. They are rare. It's worth doing for the additional exotics. But I'll, this isn't something that you should be relying on. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be doing one of my favourite missions, Agricultural Supply Stockpile. So make sure you do have the Orbital Exchange interface unlocked or you will not be able to get your exotics off the planet as this is the new method. It's in tier 2 and it's above short ranged radio. You can play any mission on easy mode if you just want to farm the exotics because you don't have to complete the mission. If you want to use a website say like Icarus Intel, I will leave it there that website down in the comments for you so you go and check it out and it'll show you where all the exotic nodes are so you can just go to them without the use of a radar now if you do want a radar and not want to use Icarus Intel that won't be getting covered in this video 
So you can go ahead, select easy mode as this does not affect the quantity of exotics you get. And you don't have to be worrying about your reward either as you won't be getting it as you'll be leaving in a dropship without completing the actual mission. So for this mission, I am going to be using my Hawk environmental suit. I'm going to be taking my IC-1 extractor, one prototype power source, along with my Cynotide dropship recall beacon, a pickaxe, an axe, my Ventura knife, my Larkwell Martinez bow, a sickle, my Gatherer's backpack so I can hold more ore, my Archer's backpack, my oxygen, and my water, and my ma two mass dampener modules for speed. For the sake of this mission, I do not need to drop down with any armor whatsoever as you just need to craft some basic cloth armor down on the planet. It's really simple. Taking into consideration it is on easy mode as well, so the animals are less hostile, less bears are around, and the weather systems are less hostile as well. And I will be taking down a MXC furnace as well, as I will need to make some iron here on this mission, as I will have to be crafting the orbital exchange interface. Once you've located your exotics, you do want to just go ahead and place your drill on it. Sometimes exotics can have one snap point all the way up to three snap points for drills. If you're with friends or if you've got multiple drills. But you only can ever use one IC1 drill as that's all you can drop down with. Okay, now that we've got the base set up while I'm extracting my first lot of exotics. This is what you're going to need. You only need a simple 2x2. Two two. And what you're going to need is a fire. Obviously for your food and going to sleep. I'd recommend the MXC furnace to drop down with. It's got less footprint than a stone furnace. And it consumes less fuel. So once you've gone ahead and mined some iron and copper. As you're going to need 7 copper ingots and 7 iron ingots. Along with 8 rope and 10 wood to craft the orbital exchange interface. Which is this thing here. And this is where you call your exotics drop pod from. You can call the exotics drop pod at any point and it will land near your base. Okay so... This exotic node's just ran out. I've got the exotics on me here. What I want to do now is go to the orbital exchange interface and you want to request a drop pod. And there it is. It's coming down now. You are going to have to run to it. And it will be indicated on the map where it is. Once you've located it, you just open up by pressing F. You can just hold control shift on all of your exotics, put it in, and then send it up to the station. Now them exotics will be waiting for you up at the station. If you're running multiple exotic nodes on a map, all you have to do is launch your exotic pod back up like I've just shown you. Pick up your orbital exchange interface, and then move to the next exotic node. Place this back down in a little base again. Call down the exotic drop pod as you can call it down multiple times. So I'm at my second location now and I'm going to call down the exotic pod. And have that be ready for when I've finished mining this node. So now that I have my exotic pod here. What I also can do is call down my dropship as well. So my dropship is here. And I'm going to bring it up here. So I don't have to travel all the way back. Ignore that dropship. That's actually a part of the agricultural stockpile mission. So what I am going to do here is go ahead and put the Senatai dropship recall beacon I mentioned earlier from the workshop on my hotbar. And let's just go ahead and throw it here. You will hear an audible beep. You might actually see my dropship take off uh, from down there. There it is there. There's my dropship taking off. Which is cool. And then you should see it in the atmosphere here. There we go. It generally does land where the flare is. So now that I'm at my final exotic location, I've got my exotic drop pod just over there. Find them trees so I can drop these exotics off into there and I can get straight into my dropship and leave once I'm completed.
If you found this helpful, leave a like on the video, comment down below if you did find it helpful, subscribe to the channel as it does greatly help the channel. And a big shout out to everyone who's a member on Ko-Fi and YouTube, as you are the ones who make these additional videos possible.